I'm Benjamin Huber and I run an industrial design firm and we're at Moroso in London. Whenever we work on projects we always like to visit the production facility or the factory um, of, the, of the brand we're working with and when you go and see Moroso you go and you see these rows and rows and banks of people stitching and upholstering things and it's this really quite beautiful production line and they're doing things there that you just don't see in any other furniture companies. Patricia and I both share a passion for textile construction, unusual constructions and things that are really engaging and new. This is what first attracted me to Moroso and I think their brand is really in line with that as well and it's much closer to sort of fashion than it is necessarily a furniture brand you consider. And so this is something we've tried to carry through our work, this idea of analysing and developing innovations in textile. The best example of, of how we sort of analyse textile is um, probably the Talma chair, which is the first project. Most armchairs are injected polyurethane, um, and so you have to have a big tooling expense and you have to have multiple suppliers coming together to form a singular product. Um, and so we looked at that and decided that we'd do a bit of a cost exercise and to sort of strip out some of that cost in the product and some of the risk and do something that was a bit more deconstructed. So we had a metal framework wrapped in a padded cloak which gave all the comfort a traditional injected polyurethane chair would. After our first collection of three projects, which was the Talma chair, Cradle, which is a conceptual uh, armchair, and a small series of tables called Net. We then designed uh, a series of sofas and chairs, which are a prop with a series of side tables as well. And this was really a look at solid timber and stripping out uh, a lot of the material and bulk from conventional sofa construction and exposing some of that. So a lot of our work involves looking at structures and, and construction and process and really kind of integrating that in our products and allowing that to be worn on its skin and to be its aesthetic.